If you find yourself working from home, there are simple steps you can follow to ensure your own safety. Connect up for a free home-based workstation self-assessment checklist. This video takes you through some things to consider when completing the self-assessment. Let's start with equipment you may use at home for your workstation. It's best to start with a chair as this is more easily able to be adjusted than a table or a desk. Do you have access to an ergonomic chair to ensure that you're working at the right height for your desk or table? You should be able to access your keyboard with your forearms parallel to the floor. When seated, you should also have a gap of at least two centimetres between the edge of the seat pan and the back of your knees. Your thighs would ideally be horizontal. Your chair should also provide lower back support and if your feet are not flat on the floor when seated, you may require a footrest. You can use items such as old phone books temporarily if you do not have a footrest readily available. Please note that features such as armrests are not always helpful as they can get in the way and prevent you from getting close enough to your workstation. You should avoid setting up your workstation next to potential hazards such as a boiling kettle or congested area. You should avoid storing items under the desk or table. You should be easily able to move your legs as needed. And you should remove clutter, keeping frequently used items within an easy reach. When considering computer equipment, if you've been provided with a laptop, you should actually avoid using them on your lap or flat on a desk surface for anything other than a very short period. For longer periods of use, you should raise the height of the laptop using either a laptop stand or any other temporary options such as reams of paper. The top of the screen should be at eye level and the screen should be at arm's length away from you. If using two screens, place the more frequently used screen more centrally. Position in a way that will avoid glare. Attach a separate keyboard and mouse, particularly if using a laptop. The mouse and keyboard must be positioned close to the body so you can access these without reaching forward. You should be sitting high enough that you can hover your hands over your keyboard and your mouse without needing to rest your wrists or forearms on any surface. If you're frequently referring to documents, try a document holder and consider whether you may need a headset if making long calls or video conferencing. The self-assessment also covers items of general risk in your home, such as being aware of how to find your own workplace health and safety policies. Your employer has a duty of care to their employees and you in turn should be familiar with your obligations to keep yourself safe. You should consider how long you need to spend on workplace tasks. The longer you spend on a particular task, the more you may need to consider modifications, such as postural breaks. You'll also need to consider factors individual to your needs. If you feel you require additional ergonomic support, speak to your manager. You should also communicate with your workplace about how to maintain your usual support or mentoring. Other risk items to consider are whether you have sufficient space in your work area with furniture items stable and easily accessible. You should consider any manual handling issues such as moving heavy items to improve access to your workstation. You should consider your access to exits and the kitchen and bathroom facilities. They should be free from obstruction or trip hazards and you should have an evacuation plan. Are you comfortable with the air quality and temperature? Are there any electrical hazards such as damaged cables or chemical storage hazards identified? Are fire safety issues addressed? Is the lighting and noise control sufficient for you to easily complete your work tasks? You should also consider the security of your home and advise your workplace of any concerns. If your checklist has a lot of orange boxes ticked, such as shown on the screen, or if you have any concerns about your home setup, discuss these with your manager. You may require additional support. Connect can assist via follow-up assessment, such as a remote call to help you problem-solve issues, or an in-person assessment, if appropriate. 